Arjun Apadurai is an Indian-American anthropologist recognized as a major theorist in globalization studies. In his anthropological work, he discusses the importance of the modernity of nation states and globalization. Arjun Apadurai was born in 1949 and raised in Bombay, India, and went to the United States where he obtained a PhD at the University of Chicago. He was the former University of Chicago Professor of Anthropology and South Asian Languages and Civilizations, Humanities Dean of the University of Chicago, Director of the City Center and Globalization at Yale University. He was a senior tutor at New College of the Global Initiative, and the Education and Human Development Studies Professor at NYU Steinhardt School of Culture. Arjun Apadurai has presided over Chicago Globalization Plan, as many public and private organizations such as the Ford Foundation, the Rockefeller Foundation, UNESCO, the World Bank, etc. Consultant and long-term concern issues of globalization, modernity and ethnic conflicts. Some of his most important works include Worship and Conflict under Colonial Rule 1981, Disjuncture and Difference in the Global Cultural Economy 1990, of which an expanded version is found in Modernity at Large 1996, and Fear of Small Numbers 2006. He was elected a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1997. Apadurai held many scholarships and grants, and has received numerous academic honors, including the Center for Advanced Study in the Behavioral Sciences California and the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, as well as individual research fellowship from the Open Society Institute, New York. He was elected Arts and Sciences in 1997, the American Academy of Sciences. In 2013, he was awarded an honorary doctorate Erasmus University in the Netherlands. He also served as a consultant or advisor, extensive public and private organizations, including many large foundations Ford, MacArthur and Rockefeller, the UNESCO, UNDP, World Bank, the U.S. National Endowment for the Humanities, National Science Foundation, and Infosys Foundation. He currently serves as the Asian Art Program Advisory Committee members in the Solomon Guggenheim Museum, and the Forum d Avignon Paris Scientific Advisory Board. <laughs> Early life Apadurai was born into a Tamil Brahmin family in Mumbai, Bombay, India and educated in India. He graduated from St. Xavier's High School, Fort, Mumbai, and earned his intermediate arts degree from Elphinstone College, Mumbai, before moving to the United States. He then received his B.A. from Brandeis University in 1970. Topic. Career He was formerly a professor at the University of Chicago where he received his M.A. 1973 and Ph.D. 1976. After working there, he spent a brief time at Yale. Apadurai taught for many years at the University of Pennsylvania, in the Departments of Anthropology and South Asia Studies. During his years at Penn, in 1984, he hosted a conference through the Penn Ethnohistory Program. This conference led to the publication of the volume called The Social Life of Things Commodities in Cultural Perspective. 1986. Later, he joined the faculty at the New School University. He currently is a faculty member of New York University's Media Culture and Communication Department in the Steinhardt School. Some of his most important works include Worship and Conflict under Colonial Rule 1981, Disjuncture and Difference in the Global Cultural Economy 1990, of which an expanded version is found in Modernity at Large 1996, and Fear of Small Numbers 2006. In The Social Life of Things 1986, Apadurai argued that commodities do not only have economic value, they have political value and social lives as well. He was elected a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1997. His doctoral work was based on the Car Festival held in the Parthasarathi Temple in Triplicane, Madras. 
Arjun Apadurai is member of the advisory board of the Forum Davignon, International Meetings of Culture, the Economy and the Media. New School In 2004, after a brief time as administrator at Yale University, Apadurai became provost of New School University. Apadurai's resignation from the provost's office was announced 30 January 2006 by New School President Bob Carey. He held the John Dewey Distinguished Professorship in the Social Sciences at New School. One, Apadurai became one of the more outspoken critics of President Carey when he attempted to appoint himself provost in 2008 2. New York University In 2008 it was announced that Apadurai was appointed Goddard Professor of Media, Culture, and Communication at the NYU Steinhardt School of Culture, Education, and Human Development. Affiliations Apadurai is a co-founder of the academic journal Public Culture, founder of the non-profit Partners for Urban Knowledge, Action and Research in Mumbai, co-founder and co-director of Interdisciplinary Network on Globalization and a fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. He has served as a consultant or advisor to a wide range of public and private organizations, including the Ford, Rockefeller and MacArthur Foundations, UNESCO, the World Bank, and the National Science Foundation. Theory In his best-known work Disjuncture and Difference in the Global Cultural Economy Apadurai lays out his meta-theory of disjuncture. For him the new global cultural economy has to be seen as a complex, overlapping, disjunctive order. This order is composed of different interrelated, yet disjunctive global cultural flows, specifically the following five. Ethnoscapes, the migration of people across cultures and borders. Mediascapes, the variety of media that shape the way we understand our world. Technoscapes, the scope and movement of technology mechanical and informational around the world. Financescapes, the worldwide flux of money and capital. Idioscapes, the global flow of ideas and ideologies. Topic: The social imaginary. Apadurai articulated a view of cultural activity known as the social imaginary, which is composed of the five dimensions of global cultural flows. He describes his articulation of the imaginary as The image, the imagined, the imaginary, these are all terms that direct us to something critical and new in global cultural processes, the imagination as a social practice. No longer mere fantasy opium for the masses whose real work is somewhere else, no longer simple escape from a world defined principally by more concrete purposes and structures, no longer elite pastime thus not relevant to the lives of ordinary people, and no longer mere contemplation irrelevant for new forms of desire and subjectivity. The imagination has become an organized field of social practices, a form of work in the sense of both labor and culturally organized practice, and a form of negotiation between sites of agency individuals and globally defined fields of possibility. This unleashing of the imagination links the play of pastiche in some settings to the terror and coercion of states and their competitors. The imagination is now central to all forms of agency, is itself a social fact, and is the key component of the new global order. Apadurai credits Benedict Anderson with developing notions of imagined communities. Some key figures who have worked on the imaginary are Cornelius Castoriadis, Charles Taylor, Jacques Lacan who especially worked on the symbolic, in contrast with imaginary and the real, and Dilip Gayankar. 
However, Apatarai's ethnography of urban social movements in the city of Mumbai has proved to be contentious with several scholars like the Canadian anthropologist, Judith Whitehead arguing that SPARC an organization which Apatarai espouses as an instance of progressive social activism in housing being complicit in the World Bank's agenda for redeveloping Mumbai. Publications 2016 Banking on Words, The Failure of Language in the Age of Derivative Finance. The University of Chicago Press. 2013 The Future as Cultural Fact, Essays on the Global Condition. Verso. 2012 Coeditor with a. Mac, India's World, The Politics of Creativity in a Globalized Society. 2007 Worship and Conflict under Colonial Rule, a South Indian Case. Cambridge University Press. 2006 Fear of Small Numbers, an Essay on the Geography of Anger. Durham, North Carolina, Duke University Press. 2002 Globalization, edited volume. Durham, North Carolina, Duke University Press. 2001 Deep Democracy, Urban Governmentality and the Horizon of Politics. Environment and Urbanization, Vol. 13 No. 2, pp. 23-43. 2001 La Modernidad Debordada, Translation of Modernity at Large Uruguay and Argentina, Ediciones Trilces and Fondo de Cultura Económica de Argentina. 2001 Apre la Colonialisme, Les Consequences Culturelles de la Globalisation. Translation of Modernity at Large Paris, Peyot. 2001 Modernita in Polvere. Translation of Modernity at Large Rome, Meltemi Editor. 1996 Modernity at Large, Cultural Dimensions of Globalization. Minneapolis, University of Minnesota Press. 1991 Coeditor with M. Mills and F. Corum, eds. Gender, Genre and Power in South Asian Expressive Traditions. Philadelphia, University of Pennsylvania Press. 1988 Guest Editor, Special Issue of Cultural Anthropology on Place and Voice in Anthropological Theory, Volume 3, No. 1. 1988 How to Make a National Cuisine, Cookbooks in Contemporary India, Comparative Studies in Society and History, Volume 31, No. 1, 3-24. 1987 Guest Editor with Carol A. Breckenridge, Special Annual Issue of the India Magazine New Delhi on Public Culture. 1986 The Social Life of Things, Commodities in Cultural Perspective Edited Volume. New York, Cambridge University Press. 1983 Reprint. Worship and Conflict Under Colonial Rule, A South Indian Case. New Delhi, Orient Longman. 1981 Worship and Conflict Under Colonial Rule, A South Indian Case. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. See also Commodity Pathway Diversion <laughs>